Welcome Pisces to your singles love reading for June. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. We are going to just jump right into your love reading and see what is coming in for you guys. Um, at the end of the reading, we are going to use the lovers of oracles to see how this person feels about you and what they have to say. So let's see what is coming in. Oh, wow. There is a... Uh, the Ten of Cups with the King of Cups. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in your energy, which means there's some change coming in. Big change. Someone else feels left out in the cold by you as there may be some arguments and challenges that have to do with um, equal give and take, right? Maybe somebody's lacking on their end. Uh, and then there's change coming in here with possible another water sign for some of you guys so let's go ahead and grab some uh, more cards we do have leo coming in to the reading we have an opportunity here not oh wow nine of cups four of wands in reverse you have fire aries leo sagittarius so interesting all right, okay, interesting, I like it. So I don't think you guys are really putting in the effort in something that, with, with someone here. I feel like because things may be feeling stagnant, um, maybe that you guys are coming out of a relationship or in separation with somebody here. So I feel like this is a time to just do Pisces, right? Just do you. Um, there is an energy of someone yes feeling left out in the cold but i feel like this is this could be um very hard to you know let go of this person but i feel like it just feels like you just kind of hit a wall here with this five of wands energy really feeling defeated nothing that you really can do right now right so that's why i feel the will of fortune is bringing in a lot of change there could be a very strong connection coming in for you that is a new opportunity, a new beginning, that is something that has the potential to grow. You may have your guard up from this idea of maybe moving on to somebody or taking an opportunity, but I do feel like there's, there's a bit of suspicion or worry, but possibly still wanting to take, maybe just kind of see how this goes, okay? Because the Ace of Swords is stating that there's some type of truth, clarity, and breakthrough that is coming in. And there is um, surrendering something or a change of perspective here with this hangman to where you're more self-reflecting on yourself and focusing on what makes Pisces happy. So I feel it's like the will of fortune's coming in, like kind of giving you the green light to move forward. Yes, you can't, you know, you need to be happy too. You have wishes, you have desires, you have things that satisfy you. And there might be a separation here with the four of wands as in family, home, um, your stability. But I feel like now you're coming out of that nine of swords or, you know, feeling once feeling sleepless nights or even feeling sleepless nights out now and kind of conflicted in your mind, you know, about a situation. And I feel like you're coming out of that now. And that is the divine helping you coming out. OK, so there is a lot of strength that is needed with moving into this new beginning okay um this is feeling motivated and inspired and this is you knowing even though it's a fire sign i you could have fire in your chart but i feel like this is you this is you knowing that you're attractive this is you just being you and independent and inspiring and motivating okay so i just feel like there's no need to put your happiness aside because someone else is not happy, especially with that five of wands. It's complete challenges all the time. This could be a past person that you're still overcoming. But, and then there, somebody's feeling left out in the cold and I feel like you're just kind of did, did pretty much what you can. We do have an emperor energy here, probably putting this emperor on hold. This could be like a separation from a marriage. I mean, you're going through a divorce. Um, this could be a fiance. Are someone here the father of your kids you know our parent of your kids um 
that I feel like is just holding back or hold, you're holding here. Something here is on hold. And I feel like you're more focusing on you on what makes Pisces happy, okay? Interesting, very interesting. Because this, this energy of the Five of Wands is like so much conflict. Like you're hitting a wall. What is this Five of Pentacles? Yeah, someone is very trapped in their own way of thinking. Like their thoughts, whoever this may be to you, their thoughts is keeping them trapped. Okay, this is a victim mentality. This is someone who's only thinking about themselves and they're going to ruin a lot of things. Or I feel like they already have. But they have the Ten of Wands energy. So they're doing this to themselves. They're holding in a lot of things that need to be worked on. Why is this will here for you? Oh, wow. There's a change coming in. There's a want of success here with an emperor energy. Now, again, fiance, husband. This could be someone you're separated from, a very strong connection, the father of your kids, parent of your kids. But this sudden change is like big. And it all has to do with your long-term stability, okay? And that the will is here to protect you and to because this is completely out of your control. That's why I feel like you're more being pushed to your happiness here, Pisces, and not worrying about this person regardless of who they are. Because you are being very protective and this emperor is going to, it has a tower moment coming, okay? This maybe could be the tower moment of you leaving, and this is their tower moment. So either way, the divine is here on your side. Whatever you want to do because you have done it all already. All right. This feels very interesting how this is, yeah, a relationship. There's a lot of struggles. This could be leaving home or feeling like there's a big lack with an, uh, th this person, right? Not getting enough support feeling unwanted or feeling unloved so this could have been a very hard separation you know this could have been in the past here too yeah the high priestess energy there's an opportunity you could be keeping this opportunity to yourself for a lot of you guys or maybe not see this opportunity coming because there's something here coming in for you and it's big and you may not take it right away there is some type of feeling yeah this is being strong against the devil you guys, the devil is here to say that there is some type of attachment or addictions or emotionally, you know, manipulative behavior that this person may have done. There, somebody's operating from their shadow self to where it's really needs a lot of patience and a lot of strength to break away from this energy. Okay, this could be like a very toxic bond or feeling like bonded to this person but I'm seeing that you're you're courageous and facing your fears and trying to overcome something this is wanting to let go and surrender and release yourself and free yourself from this devil okay the, it, the ace of pentacles I feel like there's just a, a tie of a past energy uh yeah so you're breaking free and you're going to this something's coming in really fast for you very fast Fast communication, fast movement. There's rapid change coming in. This can even feel like excitement with this new opportunity here. Okay, as you're breaking away. This is you enjoying the climb. Also, yeah, there you are with the Queen of Wands once again. There is some challenges here when it comes to communication. And then we have the Two of Cups in reverse. Setting your boundaries. There is an energy with this ace of swords this could be you breaking free from an individual or trying it one last time with somebody and again they're showing you that there's a block within this connection they're not hearing you right they should be they could be a big clash when it comes to wanting a breakthrough with this individual that's why i don't feel like i feel like you're you're not giving up on a connection but the connection's already separated right and before you take off, before you really cut them off and release yourself, it's like, let's have a conversation here. And if this, and uh, let's see if, 
if we can try to make this work one more time. If it doesn't, there's a separation, there's a breakup, disharmony, and you get your clarity from that. And I feel like that is what's going to break you free to maybe take on another opportunity or a new opportunity coming into your life. Okay. You have a lot of things coming towards you. This is standing your ground, um, defending yourself and your boundaries. This is standing in a very strong position. Uh, this is, you know, a, this feels like you're needing to protect yourself because there's a feeling of needing to be t uh, t uh, feeling attacked in the end of the, the connection. So... I do see is that there is a want for change, but something is stuck and the will is on your side and giving you the okay to go after your desires and your Ten of Cups. All right, guys, that's what I'm feeling. Let's go ahead and grab the, oh. We have flirt, extend your lightheartedness energy to others. Okay, there could be somebody new coming in. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others and stay optimistic about your your love life okay positive thinking faith will bring you romance interesting let's see what this person has to say i feel terrible for hurting you one-sided relationship you're always on my mind our story isn't over yet there was someone interfering in our relationship that doesn't necessarily always have to be a third party it could be a family member a friend that they were getting advice from uh, uh, this other person does not think it's over, by the way. Um, they're always thinking of you. But they do know it's a one-sided relationship, which it is. It does feel that way. And it, it just feels like a lot of pain and hurt when it comes to this connection. And in the outcome, it shows some type of separation or breakup. When wanting to break through these challenges, it's a really big obstacle when it comes to this relationship. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. If you do like this message or if it helped or resonated in any way, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon. God bless.